Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, April 20th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. St. Mark from a gospel book produced around 1050 from the town of Amiens in northern France. Remarkable rendition of St. Mark, who is being spoken to by the lion. His animus, his symbol, The more I ponder these symbols of the Gospels, the more I'm convinced that, that the whole earth is speaking to the Gospel writers in different forms and manifestations. Here this lion is really speaking to Mark and looking directly at him, and he at the lion. The Gospel writers were inspired. Mark is a Gospel of strength and fortitude like the lion. It's brief and to the point, but incredibly strong and deep and rich, full of resonance. Rowan Williams, the former Archbishop of Canterbury, has written a beautiful commentary on Mark. Today, in Paul's letter to the church in Colossae, Paul teaches us how to think. There are a lot of books being published about thought processes these days and neurology. Paul says, set your minds on things that are above, for you are, you have died and you are reborn in Christ and your life is hid with Christ in God. So your, your, the kingdom of heaven is already dwelling within you but you have to focus your mind on what he calls things that are above. What that means, I think, is that when you wake up in the morning, we're all we're prone to think about our worries or what might be wrong or someone's mad at me. But Paul is saying, turn your mind to gratitude, to love, to beauty. Exercise your thoughts in, in, like you exercise your body focus and focus and focus, particularly on gratitude. Focus and focus on the love you have for certain people, on the beautiful things that you have seen either the day before or that you're seeing on your morning walk. Train your mind to look for the kingdom of God and you'll see it. And the more you see it, the more you live it, and the more you live it, you make it so. Set your mind, Paul says, on things that are above. For you are hid with Christ in God. You are already there. Do not let the temptations pull your mind away from the true reality. See God's hand in the, work, in the world. And the more you look for it, the more that you will see it. And the more you see it, you will live it. And the more you live it, you will build it. Start the good process of ushering in the kingdom of God that is, as Jesus said, already here. Let us pray. Almighty God, creator of the world, maker of all things, we give you thanks for this beautiful day. We give you thanks for the people we love, for the beauty of this earth, for health, for friendship. We thank you for St. Mark and all the writers of the gospels and epistles and books of the scriptures, all that were inspired to give us the word of God in the form of holy scripture. And we thank you most of all for Jesus, the word made flesh, who lived among us. We ask you to bless the sick, those who mourn, those who are struggling in any way. I will pause now and give you time to speak aloud the names of the people who are on your hearts who need prayer.
set our minds, O Lord, on things that are above. Help us turn our thoughts to gratitude, to beauty, to love. Bring peace to this world. Give us a reverence for this beautiful earth and call us into your service today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.